You know what I believe? I'm going to tell you what I believe. I believe there are people sitting in church that are suffering under stuff way longer than they have to be. And I've seen it, and it breaks my heart. I was ministering at a church. And after the service, the pastor and his wife asked me to come into the office after the service was over. And we went into the office, and the pastor's wife, they had pastored this church for 15 years. The pastor, the, the wife led worship at the church. They every week poured their lives out for people in the church. 15 years in full-time ministry. And they pull me aside in the back, and the pastor's wife says, I, I don't know what's wrong. I feel blocked, and I don't know why. I feel like something is wrong. And I said, well, what do, you, do you have any sense of what it could be connected to? And she said, well, I don't know, but I was abused as a child, and I think it may be connected to that. I said, well, let's pray. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this room. And we invited the Holy Spirit into that office. And as we invited the Holy Spirit into that office... That pastor's wife, who had been in full-time ministry for 15 years, who labored under a sense of oppression in her life. Stuff that had been pushed down on the inside of her, suddenly the anointing came and shoo, opened that thing up, and a demon manifested. And we started to pray for her, and over the course of an hour, we cast five demons out of her. Now I'm going to say something. I do not believe it was God's will for that pastor's wife to suffer 15 years with, the, with that demonic oppression in her life. I don't believe that's God's will. You see, I believe God's will is that she would have been set free much sooner than that. But I believe there has to be someone who will know the power of God and who will know what Jesus has done and who will stand up and say, wait a second, the devil has been, de been defeated already. And if he's harassing your life, he has to go. Could it be that people linger much longer in stuff just because there's no one around to say, hey, let's pray over this. Let's get this thing dealt with. Let's get this thing out. Let's get this thing healed. Let's How many, how many understand what I'm talking about? You see, God works with us, and we work with God. It's, it's a partnership between us and God. A partnership. Some may question, is it God's will to heal? How do I know if it's God's will to heal? Well, here, let's look at the scripture. What about the young boy, the epileptic? That was thrown down. And the father went to the disciples of Jesus and said, pray for my boy. And they prayed for him and they could not get him healed. And then Jesus comes down from the mountain. And the father goes to Jesus. I brought my boy to your disciples, but he didn't get healed. And Jesus turned to his disciples and said, oh, you have little faith. And he rebuked that spirit that was afflicting that little boy. And that boy was healed. And then Jesus had to teach them. But this kind doesn't come out except by prayer and fasting. And Jesus began to teach them about prayer and about fasting and about faith. You see, just because those disciples prayed for that boy and he didn't get healed does not mean it was not God's will for that boy to be healed. You know why? Because the moment Jesus prayed for him, he was healed, showing us that it was indeed God's will for him to be healed. So just because sometimes there is a lack on the human side doesn't mean it's not God's will for that person to be healed and set free and delivered. But we partner with God. And there are times a lifestyle of prayer and a lifestyle of fasting that causes the flesh to be subdued and the spirit man to become stronger, enables us, empowers us to receive the faith of God to see God's power released on behalf of someone. And I believe, just like Mary, when she had vision to see, it caused faith to come alive inside of her. 
And that faith accelerated even the timing of God. See, I believe. Let's just say God has a set time for someone to be healed in the future. Let's just say. Just like Jesus had a set time for his miracle ministry to start in the future. I believe that timing can be accelerated. Just like Mary accelerated that miracle by faith. I believe our faith accelerates the power of God into manifestation. I was in a service, and the Holy Spirit started to move. There was a young boy in the meeting. He was sitting in the middle. He sat there throughout the whole service with his hands on his head, holding his head. I thought there was something wrong with him. I didn't know what was wrong with him. I, he just held his head the whole time. We started to move in the Spirit, and I called out a word of knowledge describing a certain infirmity. And there was a visiting pastor from another church sitting next to this young man who had brought him to the meeting that night. He pulled up the young man and brought him up to the front right in the middle of that and said what you just called out is this young man we need to pray for him right now and I was like let's pray for him put my hand on him prayed for him and the young boy's eyes got really wide and with my discernment I knew something was happening He said, the pain is gone. He was in shock. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. And we went on praying for other people. I didn't really fully know the detail. After the service, I'm out in the foyer, and the mom of the young boy comes out, and she says, look at my son. And I'm looking at him. Look at my son. I didn't recognize him. You see, here's the situation. This young boy was born with tumors in his head. In his brain and in his head, born. He had nine head surgeries to get the tumors out up to this point of his life. He lived on a constant morphine drip because of the pain. The whole left side of his face was distorted and, sh and shifted downward because of the surgeries. It, sh it changed the shape of his face. As he stood there at the end of that meeting, in front of the resource table, I looked at him. I had to take a double take. an actual testimony of God's miraculous power at Matt's meetings. I submitted a prayer request to MSM recently for my mom. She was hospitalized for a sudden severe drop in her blood platelets due to an ITP. She was in ICU for a few days. Her doctor said they had never seen anyone after an ITP have their blood levels return to normal so fast. I told them she had a lot of prayer. Praise God. Patricia, New York. My right heel was shattered into 30 pieces. I had surgery in which they put it together with plates and screws. My foot bothered me for over four years. I was in a meeting with Matt and he called out my injured part. I went to the altar, felt the anointing and was healed instantly. The power of God healed me. Wesley, Florida. Send us your testimonies on how God has impacted you through Matt Sorger Ministries. If we look through the world's eyes as David fought Goliath, you would say there is no way David could win. But we're declaring today that if God is for you, then who can be against you? Before your greatest breakthrough, there's often your greatest opposition. Your warfare is not always about where you came from. It may be about where you are going. In this teaching series, you will learn how to confront and take down every giant of opposition that is resisting you. God is delivering you not only from something, but to something. He has a purpose for you to fulfill. Get ready to experience God's breakthroughs both in and through you. Order Take Down Your Giant, a three CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your lump gift of $25 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 today. For international orders, please visit us at mattsorger.com. Matt Sorger Ministries is growing with you. Lives are being touched every day with the power of Jesus Christ through our mission work around the world and our television program, Power for Life. Your love and support means so much to us. Would you consider becoming a power partner with MSM? For only $30 a month, $1 a day, you will receive a monthly teaching from Matt on CD and MP3 and come under the ministry's prayer cover. You will also receive a 10% discount on all ministry resources and MSM hosted conferences. 
For $50 a month or more, you will receive an additional benefit. MSM's all-new premium online partner section, where you will have exclusive access to video conference volumes filled with powerful teachings from today's top Christian ministries. To become a monthly MSM Power Partner, please call 631-696-4950 or visit mattsorger.com. Together, we're making a difference in people's lives around the world. This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.